Yo, 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 yo. Let's talk about it. Now, let's make this fast, too, because I'm not trying to try make a long edit video or whatever the fuck, you feel me? But boxing is back with a bang. Like, back with a bang. Like, like they came back guns blazing. Like, <laughs> swinging for the fences, pretty much. Like, these, like, for, for this whole year, for the rest of this year, boxing is just going to be on a whole nother level, I feel like. Like, it's just going down, pretty much. Um... Let me start off by saying, um, if you, you can tell by the thumbnail what this video is about, but let me start off this video by saying uh, congratulations to Mean Machine, Kavalaskes. He uh, came, he seeked, and he destroyed that night. Uh, this is Monday I'm recording right now. Um, had had uh, daddy duties over the weekend, so I couldn't really um, record um, my review on the fight, the Kavalaskes Zuski fight, how I wanted to. But that was a nice card. It was a, it was a card of the losers, if you will. You can easily call it the card of the losers. Um, the co-main event featured uh, what Moriaga and um, I don't know why I'm forgetting the other dude's name, but they're both um, they're both fighters who lost against. Uh, the top fighters, pretty much. Like, Moriaga, if I'm not mistaken, that's his name. He lost to uh, Lomachenko. He's a little bit over the hill because um, he took a lot of uh, beating, uh, a lot, lot, lot of damage. I can't say beatings. He took, took a lot of damage over time. Um, but he lost to Lomachenko, and his opponent, who ended up winning uh, that night, was um, was um, Shakur Stevenson's uh, um, victim, if you will. And I think those two had, like, a grudge, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but... Um, uh, the person that Shakur Stevenson had beat, he had beat Moriaga pretty much just now, um, this Saturday, and uh, to capture the the vacant WBO featherweight title, if I'm not mistaken, is WBO, if I'm not mistaken. But the main event, Kyle Velasquez, he obviously lost to um to um Terence Crawford, and he felt like this fight should put him in place to get a rematch with Terence Crawford, which I don't know, I don't understand why he would have fought that. He's not like he had a belt. Um, and he's not like up up during the rankings. Like he's 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 getting there. He's probably top ten. He's probably in the top ten rankings in the WBO now. Um, but uh, with the uh, WBC, I know he was number seven, if I'm not mistaken. So um, I understand he did uh, put on a great showing with Terence Crawford, but I feel like he got to put a little bit more work in if he expects it to be like oh just a next fight type thing. You know what I mean? But beyond that, um, Zuski, um, he's this Canadian boxer, really skillful. Um, his last opponent, if I'm not mistaken, was his last opponent. He, like, dog-walked him. Like, the guy physically and mentally couldn't do nothing back to Zuski. Zuski was just putting on a boxing clinic on him. But then he ended up stopping him, I think, in, like, the fifth round. He ended up stopping him. The guy couldn't get back up. So Zuski, I, I knew it was going to be a tough, tough uh, opponent for um for Kavalaskas. Plus, they both flip flop in the rankings. Like, Zuski's number seven in the WBO and number 13 in the WBC. And uh, Kavalaskas is number seven in WBC and number 13 in WBO. Um, or that's how it was before the fight. Sorry, Mom was watching. Um, the Steelers game, you know, it's, it's, it's the Steelers. My Saints was on yesterday. Mom was watching the Steelers game. Um, but. Uh, Zuski felt like that this fight also would have put him in place for, um, for, um, would also have put him in place for, um, for, um, Terrence Crawford as well. So I guess they're both, they both were gunning for Terrence Crawford after winning the fight. Zuski came out strong. He was, um, keeping it a buck. It was like every round could have went either way, honestly. Um, there was a couple rounds you could have easily gave the Zuski. There was a couple rounds you could have gave the Mean Machine. I think the first round, the first round, I probably gave, I probably gave to um, Kavalaskis. And if I'm not mistaken, Kavalaskis stopped him in five. I think Kavalaskis had stopped him in five. So um, when it first started out, I think I gave Kavalaskis like the first round or two. Then I gave like Zuski. I think. The I, I know I gave Zuski uh, like three rounds. I think I gave um I think I gave uh, Kavalaskis maybe the first two rounds. But I know for a fact like that last round where uh, where um Zuski first got dropped. It was like the last ten seconds of I think the fourth round. Zuski was doing a great job at the very beginning of that round. But that's the the, the tax 
immediately, <laughs> immediately changed. Like for the worst, obviously for Zuski, where he got um dropped at the 10 second mark, and it didn't look like he was gonna get up. Honestly, like the man was hurt. Like he, he, he like don't don't get me wrong, he wasn't out cold, but the man was hurt. You know what I mean? So um, so that was very interesting. Yes, yeah, Zuski is still number seven in the, in the WBO, and Kavalaskis is still um. 13 in um number 13 in in the WBO. So that fight didn't mess with the rankings at all, which I'm surprised it didn't. It probably just didn't get updated yet. But um yeah, Zuski, he got dropped in the 4th round. He was it was bad actually at the end and he uh he made it um on his feet and obviously by the time um the ref counted out uh kept, you know, he said he was good to fight the the bell rung. So he was pretty much saved by the bell. The minute that the fifth round started, if my mistake is the fifth round, um, yeah, Kavalaskis came out and ate his lunch real quick. He he just came out and just beat the shit out of um, Zuski with a, a nice, like it was so fast that like the um, the cameramen and um, commentators they they couldn't even like switch back to the fight in time really because like by the time they switched back to the fight, Kavalaskis was like in the middle of punching. <laughs> So in a way, it was in the middle of punching to the ground. Like, so Zuski must, I think Zuski got hit with like maybe three or four punches before the camera got to us. And then Kavalaskis hit him with like, I believe like a hook and the uppercut dropped him. And he was like, he, he never recovered from the end of the last round, obviously. So um, the the ref seen that and, and stopped the match. And it was a, it was a nice stoppage. Um, mean Machine, he weathered the storm. Honestly, if I'm not mistaken, Mean Machine was down on the on the um call. He was, he was down on the, um on um on the scorecards. Um.